So I'm in the studio now here at KPFT, which you haven't liked already. You should, because I know you got a phone. Anyway, so beyond that, I'm here with Michael Hatter and uh, his friend Chris. And, uh, you know, I was noticing in my way in today, y'all be careful on the roads, because uh, I think there's going to be a little bit of rain or something. Anyway, so how y'all doing today? Good, good, man. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. I, they're crowded on the one mic. You know how it is here. So y'all remember to support listener radio and help us get more microphones over here on the HD. <laughs> right, for but sure. It's really, uh, really good to get to talk to uh, uh, Michael in this way and, uh, uh, because I've ran into him in clubs. I've uh, listened to his bands play, and uh, I've known that he was a uh, he had a business of his own. And, you know, here in community radio, this is something that the far away radio doesn't really have the ability to cover. And uh, the point of community Community radio is to serve the community. So you you notice we do that with m- news and music. Uh, and one of the things I've really been enjoying lately is talking about the different things that people do in the community. And so you're an LMT, right, Michael? I am. I Can am. you maybe tell us a little bit about what an LMT is and what kind of got you started down that road? And y'all can just tell us whatever you want. I'll just kind of be quiet for a minute. All right. Like LMT is Licensed Massage Therapist. Um, I kind of got into it through a series of interests throughout my life. And it, it just kind of, I guess, all these different opportunities that you run into in life, they lead you down a path, and this is the path I'm, I'm on. It's, uh, I'm still mid-stride to bigger pictures, bigger plans. However, this is where I am now. And I'm glad because I find people along the way, like my man Chris Green here. He's, uh, he owns his own store. Well, I'm sorry, not his own store. How about you just tell him? <laughs> that's, that's really you know, important, gym. you know? That's yeah. the, like, you've got your own business, yeah. right? It's a Michael Hatter, LMT, right, right? right? So you've got control in yeah. some ways, and there's some freedom with that control. And I want, Everybody, we I think you know we talk about the kids today born with these these cell phones in their hands, so they can tune into KPFT or check out your right. music or your web pages or whatever. And you know, well, what if we're born with the idea in mind or in our culture that you, that what you have that you could go out there and just do it in the way that you created this, the, not just the music but this business of yours in the meantime to survive and you as well, Chris. Uh, so I, he tells us you have a gym. You want to tell us a little yeah, bit about for sure. that? Sure, we're fifty nine Chimney Rock. We have a gym, and plus. We we have 15 outdoor boot camp locations. Oh, my goodness. What's the name? What's uh, the n- Mean Green Training. Oh, wow. So, yeah, simple as that. I think um, I've actually seen that. So. Sweet. Well, you know, the cool thing about uh, the gym, off 59, you see the big Hulk growling and stuff. So it's always a attention gainer. But, you know, like Mike said, man, to get out there, especially in the city, to go meet people like Mike. You know, Mike was my saver. You know, I was going through the spasms in the back. And uh, here he come floating into the room, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, no, but, you know, seriously, just to be around people like Mike. And it's cool because now we have this general bond when it comes to the body. Well, I, I appreciate you saying that because you hit on a couple of things that are real important. Getting out, doing things, and when you were kind of in a bind, uh, a, a philosopher I have a lot of a, I admire, said nothing helps another human as much as a human. Right. You know, a lot of times we want to think how strong we are. We don't need no help. I'm like that. I don't. I think that all the time. I sometimes get in my own way because I'm like, I got it, you know? Yeah. But, you know, once you do this, and that's the whole point of like KPFT, Free Thinker Radio, the music scene, everything is getting together and and being able to help each other, even if it's a conversation that just sets you off to believe that you can, or even you know, or if it's some kind of support or right. whatever. So that's that's great. Um, what do you uh, can, can you want to talk about the gyms a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, at our fitness gym, uh, five thousand square feet of warehouse. So you're not gonna come in and get your nails done. You're gonna come in and definitely get some work. But at the same time, we have the variety of classes. Where whether it's the, the, the mom that's pregnant that want to be with other mother, mothers, that's our fit mom group. And then we have our maniac classes for the individual that want to just go crazy and just work out. Then we have our beast. We got our kickboxing. I imagine your maniac classes oh, go pretty yeah, well. You know <laughs> the thing is, I'm going to smile the whole time, though. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, that's that's really, and see, that's the reason that it's really important for, you know, e- these individuals to um, build their own things because, you go to one of these type of uh, uh, cookie cutter gyms, and you're not going to get these sort of innovative ideas in classing. You'll get some, you know, unique personal care, whatever. But you know, here you're going to get a little bit of community action. It sounds like, as well as no matter what 
private business it is like this, th- that individual, you, Chris, are going to come up with creative strategies to reach yeah. the people. You're going to see the demand. You're not, go- you're not removed and just come into a shareholder's meeting, you right. know, right. and have employees that get X an hour. They don't care. They yeah. just want to get paid. They don't, you know, and the ones that have an idea have a hard time even reaching up to let that idea be known, much less then finally go into effect. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like you get a faster response, you know, yeah. you're more nimble, you know. Yeah. Uh, so what are some of the interesting things that uh, I think uh, are that that running a gym has shown you that you never thought, <laughs> like being involved in a gym, you'd run into? You know what? I think, the to be honest, just make sure you focus on it being about that person. I know sometimes you can get caught in different systems and what else is going on in other gyms, but uh, it's really about the individual. So when you focus on that aspect, and, and again, that's why we linked, because you work out, you get sore, yeah. you get bruised. So it's not about just keeping them in that gym. I mean, you got to escalate yeah. and get them to people full like body, Mike. Full oh, body. That's, that's what it's about. That's, 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 a, that's interesting. I, I really I, I appreciate to see how that – because on the way in, I was thinking about collaborative efforts where each individual owns their piece of it. But there's so much. It's like a giant smorgasbord or whatever you want to say. You know, there's so much to be done that everybody can own their piece and then just right. pass it off to the next person. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, on Visionary Noise, you know, we we don't have a factory for manufacture of our units. We outsource that to someone who has all that. You know, mm-hmm. and then they're able to serve multiple labels. And uh, you know, it's just. I, there's a point where, well, that's beyond your business model. And going to take care and bring in therapists, next thing you know, you're going to have to have these employees that we were talking about a little while ago. And it's just more than your basic business right. model that you're into. So I appreciate you talking about that, uh, about how you two are able to collaborate like that to serve the same customers. Exactly. And to give them more, you know. Uh, so that's, that's, that's really great because uh, you see this in other businesses. And I think it's really important that uh, businesses find their analogs so that they can do that. Because, you know, Rising Tide raises all ships and that's uh definitely something we all need so uh that's 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 pretty cool um how long have you been involved like in body work <laughs> uh really all my life uh grew up as an athlete collegially a little semi-pro but uh with me and green we started this eight years ago and it just really evolved into helping the community and the community the demand of their their service for us to teach them and, and guide them end up growing to where it is now so uh it's been a blessing do you have uh, many young people, like the very young people, you know, maybe teenagers or whatever, uh, that train there, or, yes. or is it mostly, you know, professionals that just get work nine to five and then they got to stay sure. in shape? We try to get them all. Um, that's nice. You know, with the youth, that's how we fight obesity. Simple as that. You know, not only do you train the parent, but you got to put the child in a position where they can succeed, and not just hey, do burpees and push ups, but let's have fun, let's play basketball, let's uh, exactly. play whatever. Active lifestyle, yeah. you know, be active like that, and and then I guess you probably. Also also teach them about like how to get the most out of training oh yeah for sure you know it, it's not just you know hey go put do push-ups and squats what do you put in your body how do you take care of your body yeah, right. you know so things like that uh i'm real big as mike would know is the range of motion you know if you're going and just doing squats and your hamstrings and glutes getting tightened up if you keep doing that you're going to cause an injury but yeah. that's why you got to see this guy right here because right, right, right. he's going to lo- loosen those muscles up and teach you more about your body than i can possibly teach for sure for sure um what do you think the role, and maybe I'm just stabbing to, you know, make these uh, conversations oh, somewhat sure. interesting. What do you think the role of a business like yours, of a gym, of training like this, and you talked about the boot camps. What do you think, a, how does this benefit the community um, uh, as a whole? Like, I, obviously, I could just say, well, you're more sh- in, in better shape. <laughs> you're not going to have the problems of obesity. Right. But have you noticed something more than just that those sorts of, uh, uh, of benefits that you're able to bring to people? Maybe they're able to believe in themselves more yeah. or, you know, I don't know. I'm just throwing yeah. something out there, trying to reach for, you know, something more than, you know. <laughs> well, you know, you said something that's uh, key to us, and it's our slogan, believe, achieve, and receive. So before we build any type of success, you got to first build the foundation. So you got to work on your belief. You got to work on the foundation of who you are. Why are you doing this? It got to be more than the scale, unless you want to keep doing the same 10 pounds over and over. But, you know, that's number one. Then number two, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of heat in the world right now, man, and, yeah. and putting people in the position, not, not worrying about what nationality they are just just hey we're going to focus on getting better get results and not only do it get them results physically but mentally emotionally spiritually and going to the community so that's the beauty of it yeah i like that that you say no matter what nationality because i imagine that training um in a certain sense uh you know some people identify more with 
different groups or whatever. Training breaks that down in the training. Like you're all there. You see who's there every yeah. day, and you know, matter no matter what you originally may have thought, when they're there every day, you, they're doing the same thing you're doing. And that for a way, that's going to build. You know, that's going to tear down walls. That's going to build respect for people, yeah. you know. And uh, that's that, you know, it's a lot of these things, these unspoken things that a quality um, shop brings, mm -hmm. you know. And people don't really know why they love it there. They just, I just love it there. Exactly. You know, those people are so nice. <laughs> they can't, they can't, they can't, you know, unravel it into, you know, something that a listener you know, would be able to, even if they're, you know, we have listeners in Australia, too, that even if they weren't able to make it to the gym, they take something away and go, wow, they're doing things in Houston. That that gym, Mean Green, that sticks with them a minute, you know. Yeah. That, you know, we've had people that have listened to us and then come to Houston. Well, of course, we have a big Houston base, but nonetheless, I just wanted to show, I wanted to show that we can make this conversation meaningful to people who can never make it to a show can never make it to the gym you know okay. and uh we're still and that is going on in archives and beyond mm -hmm. and it'll still be serving people so yeah. i really appreciate uh you, you taking the time to uh kind of go through that exercise oh, not a problem <laughs> speaking of exercise so michael these people get tore up and they come over to you huh <laughs> yeah that's pretty much how it works <laughs> that's it. yeah that's that's that actually was the uh the, the spearhead of our relationship is how this happened uh he he sent a couple of clients my way um, as well as himself uh, a couple of family members and a really good return on investment there you know they're, yeah. they're feeling better they're giving me good response um, they're able to to uh, recover a lot more efficiently it's interesting yeah. because uh, athletes um, or athletic active people you know they probably present different things to a massage yeah. therapist than you know maybe someone who's been injured I mean some elderly people sometimes maybe they don't even know and they get injured and the next thing they know there someone refers them to go to a massage therapist or you know get what I mean right, These non-active right. people who end up there I imagine that you learn more about a the human body in general, yeah. just seeing these diverse forms come through with diverse concerns. Well, <laughs> in my particular case, I, I'm more of a sports clinical, oh, which okay. is so kind of a focused. medical massage therapist, yeah. which is basically a very scary umbrella word to say massage with a purpose. You know, there's Swedish, which is what you would expect to get on a cruise ship or on a beach somewhere, and then there's myself, who, you know, it's it, we're a little bit more focused in our, in our goal. So, uh, Clearly, I have a lot of uh, Chris's clients. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of uh, athletes as well, you know, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, um, MMA fighters, cyclists, speed skaters, you know, figure competitors, people who are just doing things. And I also have just an average Joe, an accountant, you know, a bartender, right. you know, anybody. What motivates people to come to you? I've never been to a massage therapist. Seriously. Yeah. So what, <laughs> I imagine you have a long, uh, you know, you know, you got these people that are athletic and maybe they strain something, I don't know. Right. Uh, but. I don't even know what what brings these different groups of people to you. You know, maybe this group, the athletic people, come to you for, like I said, maybe strains or right. pulled so, muscles. None of my sessions are carbon copies. So whatever you come to me, we're going to talk about it and we're going to uh, address it. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want light pressure, that's what you're going to get. If you want me to get down into your soul, we're going to do that. You know, so um, that's it's what they like come back. <laughs> <laughs> that's what people come to me for. They come to me for that for that custom approach to massage. Nice. Yeah. And so, what's the point of a massage? Like, I, I guess it's the same thing. There's all these different answers. But what what is I people say? I, mean, I looked it up a little bit. They say, you know, loosening the muscles for different things. But t can you tell us what the benefit then? If we can, right. maybe that's a different way of phrasing the same question. What is the benefit? So piggybacking on what Chris said a second ago with the mind and the body, you know, working out spiritually as well as physically. So there's there's the brain that, that, that drives the body, which is the vehicle. So with all that being said, you have to take care of the body. You have to take care of your vehicle as well as take care of your brain, which is a very, very sensitive yeah. instrument there. Yeah. So um, grounding, taking time for yourself to let all your neurons just fire and just let them do whatever they're going to do and not worry about it, which actually is one of my little definitions of the word grounding you know yeah. and um allowing the body to do the, to follow suit do the exact same disengage relax and chill let go of all the worldly stuff that we were talking about earlier all this random malarkey yeah for sure <laughs> you know um thanks for being fcc compliant <laughs> <laughs> i try i try you know you know getting away from all that for a little bit yeah um 
that's the uh, physical and mental. There's also like the physiological, which is of course the circulation, getting things pumping as they're supposed to. Um, for example, lymph it doesn't have a built-in system. It oh, works wow. on it works on body motion and what you do, you know. Great. So getting that mo moving around, make, inducing circulation, getting water where it needs to go. You know things like that. That's amazing. That's 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 really interesting. Uh, I guess I'll throw the same one out at you that I threw a little bit ago to Chris. So, as a massage therapist, what uh, have you ran into things that you never even expected to run into, good or bad, uh, <laughs> as a massage therapist? That well, I'll tell those you, those are those fun little anecdotal yeah, stories, you know. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I I ran into a bunch of people going to random different doctors for particular things you know particular elements like uh, pain or whatever and coming to me and asking me if i know of any alternative approaches i was not expecting that going into it huh. and um with that you know yeah i i i guess i i adapted to the to the call and rose to it and with that i have two things i'm actually doing as a result of that one of them is a proprioception and stretch class that i decided to start doing here. Stretching is good. <laughs> yeah. Cats do it. So, uh, I do it every morning. <laughs> so to break down proprioception real quick, what that is is the, um, the uh, mental observation or the mental awareness of where you are and your range of motion and your limitations. For example, if you hurt yourself working out or hurt yourself doing something physical, where whether it's slipping in a shower or, uh, I don't know, pull-ups, whatever. doesn't yeah. really matter. What's going to happen is your body's, your brain is going to acknowledge that you're hurt. Your body's going to respond, and you're going to be, you're going to create a new habit based on that. Now, proprioception is the process of creating that habit, as well as eliminating that habit once you're healed. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now that is what a lot of people don't know, and that's what they come to me for. The fact that I can break that down to them and walk them through the process. Now, there's also another thing that um. Actually, my wife and I are working on it together. It is uh, natural skin care and uh, natural skin health and pain management line. So basically what we're doing is using a lot of essential oils. Everything's we're getting natural. cooked every day out yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, something to uh, people have those needs to get into. And it's better care of people, makes happier people, yeah. stronger community because they're not, you know, they're able to function better you know yeah. pain yeah. pain takes away from all of us you know i mean right, right. and i can only imagine you know you're making this point about proprioception i can only imagine you know get hurt on one leg and you walk in limping for a while and uh next thing you know you just kind of get used to it because yeah. we've all had these sort yeah. of little things that <laughs> we get used to and yeah yeah, yeah. adaptation it happens for <laughs> sure for sure so uh how can people get uh or uh, do you have like enrollment periods at the gym or um can just they just need to reach out to y'all yeah. to get connected that's and, it, yeah. we, it we don't believe in making someone delay when it comes to fitness man when, when someone said they want to work out we do not want to decrease that momentum so right. just simply go onto the website you can contact us social media wise call us so, so you, you got know. all kinds of amenities over there like a shower man you know we, we fancy <laughs> but you know it is a warehouse <laughs> there you go <laughs> we do you have go. the showers and the basic things that you need yeah that's all you need yeah, yeah. and i think you know when it comes down to working out, people aren't expecting, you know, like you, I think uh, Matt, Michael was talking about the sweetest massage on the uh, cruise ship. You know, they're not expecting that. Anybody realistic. And I think, um, so, should, yeah, that that's good. I was going to say <laughs> something, but I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> I, I was like, wait a minute, we can't talk about that on KPF. <laughs> so, anyway, so um, they can find you where? Oh, sure. Uh, website, meangreentraining.com. That has the indoor, the outdoor and also the uh, online social media. Social media, uh, that's what's up. Man. And, uh, what is it? Instagram, the real underscore mean green. And uh, what else is out there? Almost a decade of uh, experience. Actually, more at the people, but oh, yeah. as it's being around in town here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, it's good. Love Houston. That's great. Sure. That's great. So if you're looking for something to do, man, it sounds like a great thing to do. You know. You. So I hope I hope anybody that uh, is looking for that can connect with you and you know evaluate it and get into it if that's for them. Yeah. So uh, what about you, Michael? Where can they get into the massage therapy? Like, how can they find you? Everything is done online. Everything from booking confirmations, you get text message confirmations, email confirmations. Since I'm a one that one man shop, I have to streamline everything. Yeah. So um, go to my website. For sure. For Michael sure. Hatter, LMT. All right. We're going to get all those websites in the uh, f Facebook uh, event for Freethinker Radio today for anybody that's interested in digging deeper and uh, uh, get into that. So is there anything you want to – I know you got to get out of here soon, Chris, but is there anything you want to leave our audience with? Uh, you know what? Uh 
get active. The more you move, the more you live. So yeah. just get active. Get up. For sure, man. Uh, you know, get out of that couch. You That's know, it. it's just it's too stagnant. It has its time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For like you've been doing things, and now it's time to sit on a couch, and you don't have to feel like all I do is sit on a couch. Well, if you just sitting on the couch, and you feel guilty from hearing this, then maybe you need to get out, ride a bike, go to gym, or go swimming. You there know, you go. I can't Message. make a call to action, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. So uh, that's that's great, you know. And I I I, I think that you know, uh, as you get more active, you want to push the body further. So you know, some people they haven't been active for a while, you know. And I, you know, maybe they need to go for walks and right. then uh, go ride their bikes a little bit, and then you yeah. know, find find a gym that's comfortable to them, and you know, uh, get into it. It sounds like Mean Green actually gives you a lot of uh, personal attention and uh, has a variety of classes. So I like that, you know, the mother's classes. The, the What was the maniac's classes? We were going to name some other ones. You know, I can see you in Maniac or Beast. Man. I'm reading the future right now. You know, I, I, you know what's funny is I, I'm kind of active. I'm not really, I don't, I'm not an athlete, but I, you know, I ride my bike. I Good. used to ride it like eight miles a day nice. easily. Just, I, I fit activity into my life, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, but I would do things and uh, a few times I had, I would take these uh, jobs that I I worked corporate America for 15 years. Went to school, didn't didn't really get out of AC too much, except to recreate, you know, right. and have fun. So you know, you don't notice that that amount of time actually takes a toll on the body as far as oh yeah, I can do this or I can do that. Uh, but uh, I would take some of these jobs that would be in a warehouse and moving stuff or doing this or that, and right. I would just be throwing myself at it, you know. And yeah. uh, you don't always recognize what you're doing to your body that way either. But it's that mind body thing. So you know, I might I might think I'm not athletic, but you might be right. I might be in the maniac. See, class, I don't know so. how to stop sometimes once I start. Right, you know? I heard <laughs> this. Everybody heard this. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's out good. there, and I can't I can't erase it. It'll be in the archive, so y'all check out kpft.org. But yeah, um, I really appreciate it, and uh, I appreciate the candor and talking about this. So, uh, heck yeah, man. Um, I don't know. I guess I could talk to you more personally, but uh, if if that's all you want to leave our audience with, I'll get into talking to Michael about you know uh, more of the massage therapy, and then we would like to talk about your band, Tighten Up. Yeah, let's do that. You, you, all right, you, you're right. This is not your first act. No, this is not. <laughs> this is not. I've been uh, around Houston on the music scene for a couple of years now. I'm going to say about a good eight, nine years, uh, just bouncing band to band, and then I was a side man. For a while, well, that's a good experience because you're hitting all these different sort of things. So you're constantly having to be on your uh, toes and adapting to both people, music, you know, all this sort of stuff. You know, right. I notice both of y'all. Every I, I've just met Chris, but every time I see you, you got a smile on your face. Isn't it? <laughs> Can you massage, <laughs> get out all this, the kinks in the. Uh, <laughs> but you know, this is important to have this sort of uh, ability to be open yeah. to be a side musician like this, and and through that, you know, you've had such a breadth of experience that yeah. if you just played in the same act over and over you know you wouldn't have you wouldn't have to constantly adapt you wouldn't have to you know do these yeah. things but now you've got a new home I do. to uh, tighten up you want to tell us a little bit about that project man this project i am super excited about it i love this project yeah i think this is that project that every musician wants to grow up and be like oh nice. you know that's a i've or, never heard someone say that that's, that's least, a good way yeah to... or at least be in you know <laughs> yeah uh, regardless of our success level we love each other and we love what we do and we're fans of each other. Nice. And um, I, I want to say that this came about through a very zigzag approach to putting a, a band together. It was actually supposed to be, well, and, and it is, the band is under the record label Great Heights Records, which is affiliated with Heights Vinyl in the Heights. And um, it's, it's still that baby. It's still uh, signed under Great Heights Records. And from there, it's just kind of taken off with all the passion behind the, the um project nice we actually just came out of the studio yesterday and uh did a couple of uh, our our originals and we uh even did a cover for you figured you would appreciate it oh yeah it. yeah uh, i forgot you sent me that i'm gonna I, we're gonna get into that um here in a little bit i uh i uh i actually i barely i just played it and didn't get into it too far because when i got it it was <coughs> sorry about that guys um it was um the morning yeah I had a thousand things to do before the show today and i was like okay it plays <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I look forward to that. Um, do you want to? Are the other musicians in the act? Uh, uh, have they been around for a minute? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so there's Brandon Miles. You recognize him from Journey Agents. They've been on the scene forever. You know, and yeah. funky man, I love those guys. Uh, Eureka Fernandez. She has as well been on the scene. A, a bit of a different scene, more of a of a uh, HSPVA nice. graduate type. Um, I guess orchestra scene. So I want to say that she did the. Um, 
I can't think of the uh, arena, but the one in the Miller Outdoor Theater. That's okay. the one. She did a lot of things for that. She was in the pit there. Um, Lou Boldrigini is a <laughs> band director. He's our percussionist. Uh, Ashley Miadia is a longtime friend of mine, singer, and myself on drums. Well, that's interesting because with so many people, with so wide a background, y'all are really cross-pollinating, be- being able to bring a lot of new people to listening to yeah. this new project. So it's almost like you're a local super group. You, know? <laughs> yeah. you so said that- it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. Thank you, there you go. sir. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. We're going to play a little bit of that. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, let me see. Uh, you you got a show that we were talking about uh, uh, earlier um yeah, yeah. With soul Creatures and uh, some yeah. other friends. I'm looking forward to that one particularly. Is that because, LCC? Yeah, Last Concert Cafe, August 20th. That one is going to be epic because I'm a personal fan of every band on that bill. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, Who, who's all on that bill? So there's, uh, <laughs> there's Bayou City Funk. There's, Test time. <laughs> right? right. Bayou City Funk. There, uh, there's Plump, who's been around for years. I swear, eons, those guys have been around. I haven't seen them for a while, but they showed back up, and here they are. There's Soul Creatures that you mentioned earlier, who is just a dynamic performing group. Oh yeah, swear. Russell and the whole crew. They're, yeah. they're 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 amazing. They get people to move, you know. And I think when you have a lineup like this, where the bands respect each other, they're psyched about the show. And if yeah. the band's excited about the show, that that tends to transfer before the show, which gives you a good pre promo. Yeah. <laughs> So. Yeah, I tell you, if you have something to do, you might want to cancel it. Just, just, just go. get there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just get there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. How much is it there? Uh, pre-sales twelve, doors fifteen. Where can they get those pre-sales? Pre-sales. Hmm, that's a good question. I wasn't prepared for that. Question. Okay, well, <laughs> follow up with that somehow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm opening up this uh, folder where I put that that song, and I want to, I want to give us a break uh, to catch our breath. So yeah, for sure. If y'all are listening and you haven't already liked Free Thinker Radio on Facebook, please go ahead and also find Mean Green Gems and. Uh, uh, Oh, goodness. Tighten up. It took me a minute. I, I was not remembering the name of the band yeah. properly earlier. <laughs> and I was like, I can't remember what it is. Tighten yeah. up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, tighten up. Tighten up, Micah. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Close enough. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I wanted to let everybody know that if you didn't know already, because I've talked about it a few times here, that you can help KPFT without taking money out of your wallet. There is, and it's on the Freethinker Radio page as well as the uh, kpft.org page, there's a um, barcode that you can scan in at Kroger. And every time you shop at Kroger, some money comes to community radio so we can get this music, get this uh, community out to everybody. This is a real resource. Also, there's a, um, a Randall's uh, number that you can u- sign up with with your Good Neighbor program or whatever they have there. That makes a donation every time you shop there. So... Anyway, what what song is this? I saw. I think it started with a B L. Yeah, sure. this <laughs> this is a um, kind of what you would call a montage of two different covers. We call it Black Engine Number Nine.
or that, this or that. This 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 or that, this. Engine, engine number nine. On that New York transit line. If my train goes off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on the scene, crispy and clean. You can try, but then why? Because you can't intervene. We be the outcast down for the settle. We bump the rock and we don't drop the pebble. Open the door, let's believe we're sliding through it swiftly. Nip to be. We can make it hip to be. What we are, cause what we be. Be the epitome of you, a die, a dip, a dee. Hey, so now I dwell just to say it plainer. Hold the cup, cause I got the container. Pass the plate up, cross the fader. Tighten up, get to play like it's only in a later. Never the traitor, party it later. And you can get the scoop later. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. I mean, All right. Definitely glad we are, could could finally play that track, Black Engine Number 9 from Tighten Up. Um, anything you want to leave our audience with uh, today? Uh, man, um, appreciate you having me. It was awesome. It was a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Well, I definitely appreciate it, Michael. Um, I, I think you came through one of our shows before as well, um, not just coming through the show, but played in one of these acts. I just don't remember which one. Maybe Electric Attitude. I'm not Most sure. Most probably. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's always great to work with people in different ways, and it's it's really, we have a wide community of people doing things, and you know, I, I, I'm happy that people can see that some of these people that they just see, you know, in a show, making music, creating stuff, have other things going on in yeah. life that is an important part of the community. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and move along now, Michael. I thank you so much, and you be safe out there on the roads. You do the same, guys. Thank you, sir. Crazy world. It is, man. (laughs) 